Hello, Costin Sunflowers. Today I will be reading from chapter three of Amelia Bedelia, Road Trip. Neither here nor there. Are we there yet? asked Amelia Bedelia. Her dad looked back at her in the rearview mirror and said, That's the best thing about roaming around. Since we don't have a destination, wherever we are, we're already there. Amelia Bedelia had to think about that for a minute. Then she said, Well, if we're there, what can I do for fun? Her mother reached into her travel bag, pulled out a book, and handed it to her. Amelia Bedelia flipped through it, but there were no comics, puzzles, or stories. You should get your money back, Mom, said Amelia Bedelia. All the pages in the book are blank. I know, said her mother. It's a journal. What's in it is up to you. You can write it, or draw in it, or both. It will be your record of our vacation, like a diary. Her mother handed her a brand new box of colored pencils, too. This feels like homework, said Amelia Bedelia. It can't be, said her dad. You're not at home. She couldn't argue with that. It'll be fun, said her mother. Years from now, you can read it and remember what you were thinking and feeling. They turned into a big highway and drove along with lots of other cars. They listened to the radio until the last station faded into static. Then Amelia Bedelia noticed the noise that became the soundtrack of their trip. The hum of tires on the road accompanied by the wind rushing by her window. Sometimes they pass other cars. Sometimes other cars pass them. Amelia Bedelia stared at the passengers. Where were they all going? Were they roaming too? A little boy stared back at her, then stuck out his tongue. She laughed and waved. He waved back and laughed too. Amelia Bedelia gazed at the house as they drove by. What were those people like? Did they have dogs? Did they have kids her age? Would they be friends if she knew them? Did her friends miss her? Did finally miss her? Her daydream ended when her dad bellowed, Adventure! Here we come! As he took the next exit of the interstate, he began singing, Off we go into the wild green yonder. Amelia Bedelia was amazed. Her dad was so happy. He always sang the wrong words when he felt goofy. They had to drive much slower now because they were on a two-lane road. They drove past old houses and farms. They drove by cows and sheep. They crossed a bridge and park. We must be there, said Amelia Bedelia. Exactly, said her mother. Lunch will be served on the bank of that stream. Amelia Bedelia's father grabbed their picnic lunch from the trunk and pulled out a blanket from them for them to sit on. This will keep the ants from joining us, he said. Too bad, thought Amelia Bedelia. She kind of wished that some of her aunts and uncles and cousins had come along to keep her company in the back seat. It was time like, times like this. It was times like this she really wished for a brother and really, really, really wished for a sister. After lunch, her mother made an announcement. I was up late last night and early this morning packing. I'm taking a nap. Amelia Bedelia, you're in charge. Then she closed her eyes and put a floppy hat over her face. Amelia Bedelia buckled herself in. Her father leaned over and pointed at the map. We are right here, he said. His fingers were on a picture of a tiny picnic table. Hey, said Amelia Bedelia, why didn't we sit at the table? It would have been better than the ground. There was no table, said her father. That picnic table is just a symbol. Look in that little box in the corner of the map. That's the key. Amelia Bedelia wondered if her dad needed a nap, too. A symbol wasn't anything like a table. She knew that because she had tried playing the symbols in the school band. And there was no box on the map. It was flat. Plus, who needed a key? You need a key to lock the car, but you don't unlock a map. You, you unfold it. Amelia Bedelia's father started the car and pulled back out on the road. 
Well, so far so good, he said. Not really, said Amelia Bedelia. We haven't gone so far, and it hasn't been so good. Ha! <laughs> Came a laugh from under the floppy hat. Amelia Bedelia looked at the map again. The road they were on went through a green patch. She looked up and saw trees on both sides of the car. She noticed a square in the corner of the map filled with tiny pictures. A school had a little flag on top, just like her school did. A hospital was a red cross. A little envelope was a post office. A plane was an airport. Then she found each picture on the map itself. Maps are fun to figure out, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm glad you think so, said her father. Do you see where we are? Amelia Bedelia put her fingers on the map. Yep, she said. I've got us. Great. Can you figure out how to get us to Route 23, he asked. Amelia Bedelia looked at the map. She turned it sideways and upside down, then right side up to prove that she was thinking. She let out a giant, hmm. At last she shouted, I've got it. Keep going straight, then turn left into this blue squiggly road, and it'll take you there. Hmm, said her father. He looked at Amelia Bedelia in the rearview mirror. A blue squiggly line is usually a river. Sure enough, next to the blue squiggle picture was the word river. She was about to apologize when she noticed something about the road they were on. Dad, said Amelia Bedelia, what does it mean when the solid black line for the road changes into a brown line? with dashes. She looked up as they passed a sign that read Pavement Ends. Dirt road, bellowed her dad as they skidded a bit on a gravel, uh, a bit on gravel, raising an enormous cloud of dust. Snark! Ooh! Amelia Bedelia giggled at the sound of her mother snoring. Her dad smiled and said, I can't believe she can sleep through this. They bounced along until they came to a stop sign. The road they were on ended, and another sign gave them a choice. They could turn left or right. This isn't on the map, said Amelia Bedelia. Which way should we go? Well, I've no idea, said her father. I vote for left, said Amelia Bedelia. Well, I'm thinking right, said her father. Call it, said a voice under the hat. Heads, shouted Amelia Bedelia. Tails, shouted her father. Amelia Bedelia's mother was wide awake now. She could always be counted on to make a decision. She pu pushed back her hat and flipped a coin in the air. She looked at both of them and then lifted her hand to reveal the winner. Tails it is, she said. They turned right and away they went to whatever might come next. I hope you enjoyed chapter three of Amelia Bedelia Road Trip. Make sure to join me for next video so that you can see what happens in the next chapter. Take care for now, goodbye. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>